and yo what is up my dudes welcome back to my channel hope you're having a good day today we're back on global we're going to be uh, playing some uh, geared pvp with in my opinion the best team right now on global the uh, the kingdom team obviously that's just my opinion but i am uh, i do know uh, pretty much everything there is to know about this game and uh, from what i've seen the global meta and stuff this is the best team galtha got a triple defense gear on him a uh, resistance road uh, that's mainly just to uh, resist um, Merlin attacks, level 1 Merlin attacks. Using a triple defense Galtha and a triple defense Link who has high defense, you can resist level 1 Merlin uh, attacks. That's very uh, pop champ indeed. I think that's uh, the best thing. Obviously Merlin, ult engine, Galtha, rank ups, attack seal, king, cleanse, petrify. Let's go into PvP. Okay, game number 1. We face another Kingbrim. 149. That's um that's not too good. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. not an ideal top deck, but we'll just uh, we'll work with uh, what we've got. How do I want to play this? Merge it. Fog wave the uh, the Helbrum. Mm, I don't know, man. Rank up king. Fog wave the Helbrum. Yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll just do that. We'll just do that. Not too much to be uh, worried about. We can push ultimate really fast with this team. And if it gets to it, we can easily uh, stall a bit as well. That's why, that's why this team is just the uh, it's just the best team on Global, man. It's not like the best free-to-play team or like, you know, anything like that. But it's definitely, I've found it to be like the most consistent team. Obviously, people might prefer to run other variations of alt teams, but man... There isn't a single like comp in the game that's as uh, flexible as Kingbrim. Yeah, that's a good play. We'll just do that. Like Kingbrim as a team is just so flexible. You have so many different options at your disposal. Like you can do so much with this team. You have uh, a unit who petrifies, or well, two of them who petrify. A unit who reduces gauge with uh, his skill Helbrim. A unit who can heal you. A unit who ranks up. A unit who seals attack skills. Like man. The team is just a, it works too well. It just works too well together. And um, that's uh, pretty much GG. Do I use the heal? Yeah, I'll just use it. Yeah, man. Like, the, on global, there is no, like, proper meta yet. Like, I know people run, like, you know, some uh, some mono red and stuff. They run some Escanor ult teams and whatnot. But nah, man. Those teams just aren't as good as Kingdom. I understand that, like... <laughs> naturally people do hate this team because it's like really toxic and stuff but i mean like the it is what it is man like the team is just great there, there's there's literally like besides having somewhat low cp there's really not too much i can say about this team that that seems bad like even with bad rng you can still pull off some great stuff at the end of the day the kingdom team it is essentially an alt team right this is an alt team we're gonna double fog wave this bitch oh it's just one <laughs> never mind but uh, yeah man kingbrum let's go to our next game okay game number two what do we have here uh bit low cp mono red i mean this team is nice and all until you get uh until you get a uh, ultimate with your uh, hellbrum and then you just ruin their day there's nothing this team can do about it they don't have a unit who reduces gauge they're not going to be running merlin in the back with alt food uh, that's just not how mono red works just get uh, Helbrum Ultimate and uh, yeah, you pretty much, uh, pretty much won. Because the effort it takes, unless they have like serious luck, we've sealed a shit ton of skills that you can't cleanse. Unless uh, the Mono Red team gets serious, serious luck with uh, Arthur and uh, Galtha, there's really not much they can do after the first uh, Helbrum Ultimate, man. Because you cleanse that once, they have to get another three star. That's just not gonna happen. Granted, of course, it might happen because of RNG, but in general, it's not going to happen. This should uh, this should be just fine. I want to get Hellbrum Ultimate. That's why I use the uh, the two cards right there. I think after this Hellbrum Ultimate, it's GG. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's nice and all. How's it doing, big boy? Damage if you have a uh, Pierce Rolls on him, but I mean, yeah. I don't want to say I'm like not a fan, but I just think there's uh, better teams out there. If you want to use it for fun, by all means. 
I'm pretty sure some people out there they probably use this and are really successful with it but there's certainly uh, better teams out there like uh, this one right here um, yeah petrify whoever's left and GG bam bam yeah uh, good uh, good cool AI good uh, targeting Sometimes the AI in this game can be so stupid. Do we go in the back? Yeah, that's a yikes, man. That is a yikes. The only unit I would ever consider using in PvP who uh, boosts um, a team's HP is just going to be uh, Red Grimoire, man. Using like these other units, you just lose. Like using our units, like, you just lose too much CP, man. And there's even some SRs that boost HP related stats. Well, not related, but just HP in general. I think Jillian does it for green, 30%. Marmus does it for blue. Twigo does it for red. But two out of three of them are our characters. That's a huge uh, drop in CP. And Jillian, she's not Griamore, right? She doesn't have access to all of Griamore's outfits that you're going to have through building the other Griamores. So she's just going to have lower CP as well. Red Grimoire, he gives you half the HP, but he does also give you a lot more CP. Going first sometimes just makes all the difference, man. And we'll just end the game right here. Yeah, that, obviously that was my little rant on like running Twig or Sub, but I really just don't think it's a good idea. Tanking your own CP in PvP is just, just not a good idea in general, man. But uh, yeah. Okay, next game, what do we have? The basic uh, ultimate team. Ultimate team, ult team, whatever. I mean, this team is just so straightforward if you're using Kingbrim. Just attack seal. Obviously, I can't attack seal right now, but we'll just do this. Basically, when you face like an ult team, or just any team that has king in it, just attack seal them if you can and uh, seal the king, petrify the king. And they can't do much. This Escanor here, if he like wanted to uh, attack whilst debuffed, he'd have to get f uh, full ultimate gauge. Which um, at 3 gauge, you have to waste 2 cards or just move them to unlock your uh, passive. Which at that point, using 1 card, it's just that was the point. You'd rather just uh, push ultimate, which I guess you are doing with Escanor, but got to think about other units as well. Uh, Fog wave the Escanor, petrify the king. Escanor is dead. King is uh, going to be low. Oh, he's going to be super low. Okay. Fog wave the Gauther instead. Oof. 46k. Help him so strong, dude. He is so strong. I love this unit so much. When I'm not facing him, that is. <laughs> Because facing Helbrum is a different story, man. My bad, that was my chair. Yeah, facing Helbrum can be a really um, tantalizing experience. Especially like a really like good Helbrum with good gear. Because if you have really good gear on him, then his passive is just even better. Because you already have somewhat decent stats. And then that extra 15 or 20%, whatever it is, I think it's 15. That kicks in and he's just doing crazy damage um wish i had an ultimate on my galtha so i could show off the fact that a level one merlin attack can't uh, penetrate him or pierce him should i say reduces that oh of course that's fine though we're gonna double fog wave uh, merlin oh never mind oh never mind yes we will we're gonna level three fog wave her and use another one just in case she survives. Level 3 fog wave is just oh, 113. It's like it's like an ultimate dude, what the heck? It's so hard, but yeah, GG. <sighs> GG. Yeah, well, I'll just use a uh, normal skills. I, I don't really I really don't want to watch the um the ultimate animation. But uh, yeah, let's uh, go to our next game. I'll see you there. Okay, next game. Kingbra. So it is pretty popular. Of course it is.
Sadly, we're facing bots, not real players. It's more interesting to fight real players. Because I can obviously instantly tell if I'm facing a bot. It does kind of ruin it because I'm tempted to like cut out the game or skip it. But you know, like matchmaking, there's just not much I can do about it, right? Like when I try to record PvP videos, I mainly like try to record it at a time where people are awake and playing the game because I hate facing bots. But sometimes there's just not much you can do about it, you know? Because the bots are essentially free wins, but I'm, I'm not here to showcase like free wins, you know. I'm, I want to showcase how these units actually do against real players and stuff. Since I can't choose like to fight real players, I guess um just have to uh, take what you get basically. How do we play this? I think we we, we have to cleanse. We have to uh, ultimate him. So I, I was about to say we have to super him. <laughs> but yeah. Ultimate fog wave one gauge away, and that's pretty much the best we can do right now. If I petrified King would have, um, ooh, that hit super hard. To be fair, the dude was uh, the bot was low CP, but it is what it is. No level three fog wave for Merlin, unfortunately. <sighs> Man, I, I need to set up a scenario where Galtha. Um, what should I do now? Because if my Galtha has ultimate, surely uh, Merlin would uh, want to. Actually, no, no point messing around. I'll just finish the game. Pitch fire her. But yeah, man, if we're, th if we're talking. Now, obviously a bit unrelated, but if we're talking about Escanor counters, just use Hellbrum, man. Hellbrum's a hard counter. Super hard counter. You use a level 2 Fog Wave on Escanor, you're doing minimum 50% of his HP, man. Minimum. It's actually crazy. But, uh, yeah, that's GG uh, against this bot. Bob champ. Let's uh, go to our next game. Next game. <laughs> Dude, ooh, I think that guy's on the uh, on the rankings. Ah, oh, this is bot feels bad, but at least this is a really good geared uh, Kingbrim. Really good geared Kingbrim, 173. That's uh, that's very good, especially because uh, Kingbrim has um low CP. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, just, we'll do this. Take off a fat chunk of his uh, health. Nice. Level 3 on a red unit did 50, just over 50% HP. Level 3 on a green, that puts them down to like 25% minimum. Helbrum OP, Helbrum Supreme. Uh, do we uh, rank him up again? Rank up Helbrum again? Get the uh, double petrify or do we push uh, someone else's ultimate? Yeah, we'll just do that. Easiest way to victory, so might as well do it. That's the thing, man. Another like layer of like usefulness about this team is that each three, like each of the units, have their own like mechanics for their ultimate, like king. His ultimate can help you pierce through like really tanky teams because he ignores resistance. Helbrum helps you counter the, uh, the what do you call it, the mono red teams. And Galtha helps you stop ult teams. If you go first, you can push Galtha ultimate, reduce three of their gauge. And that's essentially the whole team comp finished. With Kingbrum, it doesn't work the other way. The team like isn't reliant on tank, isn't reliant on buffs. And also, it's it definitely is not reliant on the ultimates because you can easily just stall out with this team, you know. Easily just uh, grind your way uh, to a win, just by like constant debuffing, constant petrifies, removing gauges, healing back with King. So uh, obviously, I understand why people call it toxic, but this team is just uh, right now on global. It's definitely uh, the source. Maybe not the best team for grinding points, like, but like it's definitely the best most consistent strongest uh, team for sure 
you disagree, obviously, I'm not going to say you have to believe me or, like, you know, take my opinion as fact, right? And I know what I'm talking about, guys. Trust me. Uh, Merlin. Do I want to fog wave her? I don't know, man. I just, uh, I just love fog waving uh, green units with Helbrum. He just does too much damage. <laughs> he does too much damage. Oh, perfect. Going to level 3 her right in the face. If she's attack set, she gets one shot. Boom, 108k, bam. Let's uh, go to our next game. Next game, we have another mono red. Ugh, 130k. That is uh, undesirable to say the least. Yikes. Let's try the offer. But yeah, when you're facing mono red and you're using Kimbrim, just just petrify the Arthur, man. Stop the Arthur. They can't do much. They cannot do much because if you're if you're ranking up your king with uh, Galtha rank ups, you're gonna have heals. So all of like the damage that Hauser, who I'm assuming is gonna be uh, rolled with a uh, pierce rate on his uh, gear, that damage doesn't mean much. You're just gonna heal it back. So just focus Arthur, and it's all easy. If you let Arthur do his thing. He fucks around, gets that three-star buff. Then you have issues. Then you have to push Helbrum's ult to uh, stop that. And that's just going to be oof. No, it doesn't even matter. He's, he's only 130k. That is um, not too impressive, I would say. Merlin just came in. What are the chances she has a level one uh, dissolve? Oh, it seems there's no chance. Okay. Oh, wait. I let him get ultimate? I did not even see that. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I did not even realize I let him get his ultimate. Yikes. Outsmarted by a bot. Feels bad. Um, I was thinking about using both of uh, Galtha AoEs. I was just unsure if I um, might get. Yeah, see? If I used the two AoEs, I wouldn't have killed the uh, the other Galtha. Oh yes, level three fog wave to the face, kill Merlin. Love to see it. Oops, my bad. Let's do that. Let's do that. We'll just finish it. Level three over 100k, 146 crit. Yikes, Chief. Uh, let's go to our next game. Alright, boys. Next game we have... Um, yeah, I, I know this team, but I don't really like it too much. Oh, it's a bot as well. God damn it, man. This is why like Global Challenger is just, it's really not Pog. Just so many bots. <sighs> Can't wait till they implement the uh, the top 100 system to global as it is on JP. You play 100 games geared against real players, and that's that's pretty much it. You just get a, in one week. You have to play 100 games, which is easily doable, like easily doable. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see what's this bot gonna do. Reduce my gauge. That's fine. Um, yeah, perfect. No, 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 I need to do it the, um, that's the way I just done it, yeah, my bad. My brain, uh, I had a brain fart just then, my bad. Wanted to make sure I do the right play just uh, to make life easier. Do I want a double AoE uh, ultimate? Yeah, I think I will. Um. Yeah, my bad, guys. My uh, my phone actually stopped recording because uh, someone called me. But obviously, um, I've just finished off the two ultimates. We're still in the game. Escanor is back line. Now we uh, level 3 fog wave him to the face and say goodbye. 
GG. Over 100k? Of course. <laughs> Alright, let's go to our next game, boys. Ooh. Galland. Ah, oh, 135. Yikes. I'd love to say I'm scared of facing Galland with this team, but truth is, I'm not. Only issue would be Galland taunting um, Helbrum. That would be the real issue because then I can't freely uh, remove Gage. Other than that, there's a, there's zero issue fighting Galland. I don't care if he petrifies my Galtha because I have a cleanse unit. I'll happily petrify my Galtha to rank up uh, for a petrify or a heal. That's perfectly fine. Worth the trade off in my opinion. Especially because if the opponent is dumb or if they're a bot, chances are they're going to break the Galtha petrify anyway. So yeah <laughs> see what i mean about this game's ai like jesus christ man oh, that's terrible that is actually terrible but yeah gg Ugh, i do I really don't like fighting all these bots man i, I wish they were this is why i wish they had top 100 pvp so you can actually queue in against real players man global the issue right is because there's so many global players and so many of them get to challenger and then just decide not gonna play not gonna farm coins just gonna stay at challenger that just makes it so bad because when you are in uh, challenger and you're playing pvp you just face a lot of bots obviously that's the dream when you're farming uh, either coins or you're farming for a top 100 rank you just keep facing bots it's just easy wins you can auto them if you want but when you're trying to make a video bots are not what you want to fight man that's not what people want to watch do you know what i mean just say it can be uh, pretty um frustrating from my side but uh, no nah, i'm not even gonna just use normal cards don't want to watch the animation all right boys let's uh, go to our next game okay i think this is gonna be the final game we play maybe or maybe one more i don't know uh Oh, color me shocked, it's a bot, yikes. Uh, then again, this team, really not too solid. Petrify the king, they can't do nothing. If it was a real player using alt food, sure, he pushes someone's ultimate, gets their ult, I remove it. There's just, just nothing the team can do about it. That's, the one that, that's why I really don't like this team. It's a solid team. It's a high CP team, but like the... Uh, the maneuverability, right? The consistency is just not there, man. So it really is just not there. Let's just get the uh, the buff on all our units, and that's Pop Champ, King Nuke. How how does that even make sense? How does the King survive? The Escanor doesn't. Obviously, that like, Escanor might be uh, attack set. This King's HP set, but dude, come on. Make it make sense. Perfect. See, I told you guys. I I told I told you guys. This uh, obviously this player, he's not like too high. It's like his gear is not too good. But I did say Galtha would resist the level one map. She's HP. That's a no. That's a really good gear set. That's a perfectly fine gear set. Ten point four k attack with a HP set. That's perfectly fine. Galtha triple defense, man. Especially in PvP, I'm telling you, it's the wave. You lose a bit of CP, but trust me, man, it's absolutely worth it. In my opinion, of course. Resistance rolled as well. It's basically the gear piece that you're going to use in a guild boss. Obviously, about that, I do recommend you build an SSR triple defense set for Galtha. For a guild boss, you'll be using it for months and months and months. And it's also really good in PvP. So, yeah, that's just my take on it anyway. But, yeah, I mean played uh, quite a few games i think we are i am uh, ranked right now somewhere where is it oh, I'm, I'm looking at the 4ks never mind rank 25 that's uh, that's pog champ gonna gonna keep playing some more games obviously off screen i do farm with a uh, coin food but for a video i won't gonna stay in the uh, the 30 range get 4.5k coins that's gonna be great Obviously, uh, in the shop, do have a lot of coins uh, farmed up, saving them for uh, 
maybe sometime use wine food to uh, maybe I don't know go for like a top uh, top one finish or something like that. But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day. Subscribe for more uh, top whale global content, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.